you today. Thank you so much for being here. And you will see, if you're thinking about the colors, that reminds you what month this is. All you have to do is look at me and look at our wonderful lady from the CAC, Michelle LaRanger, who's wearing the blue that is emblematic of Child Abuse Prevention Month, which is one of the reasons we're here today. So we're here for Child Abuse Prevention Month, and this is the color from my agency, the Women's Center, which is Sexual Assault Awareness Month. So those two months coincide, and it's not really too much of a coincidence that they do, because that work has a lot in common, and we both work to make sure that the community is aware that there are agencies out there that can help on these issues, and to make the communities aware that these issues are very important to us, to all of us, and that we take care of the children around us, and that we take care of the adults as well that are being abused. So it's a very serious subject today, but we're glad you're all here with us, and we're happy to start early in getting people aware of how they can help, how they can help prevent child abuse, and how they can help prevent assault. So we have a, a, a very important gentleman here with us today whose job it is to make sure that those people that prevent crimes against other people get the justice that the system that we prize so much in America, the criminal justice system, has for them. So this is my opportunity to present a new district attorney in our area, and he covers a lot of territory from Attleboro to Fall River to New Bedford, so he has a lot of places to be, but he chose to be here today with us because this is an important subject to him. And so we very much appreciate it, and I want to introduce to you all Mr. Thomas Quinn, District Attorney. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm here to speak to you today, to speak out against child abuse and sexual assault. I take these issues very seriously, both professionally and personally. These officers charged with the investigation and prosecution of these crimes. However, regardless of the, uh, these crimes being committed, no one deserves to experience abuse. This is especially true among children. Over the years, the perspective of, what, the, perspective of the role of law enforcement in the criminal justice system has changed. Victims who were once reluctant to come forward and contact the police or cooperate with uh, prosecutors. This has changed. The people involved handle these cases with compassion. This is very important to me. The district attorney's office is among the first to respond to reports of child abuse and sexual assault. So compassion is critical uh, when we first meet victims of these most heinous crimes. I have attorneys and advocates specifically trained in these areas to handle these cases. We have a special victims unit where all child abuse and sexual assault cases are carefully reviewed, investigated, and prosecuted. I commend uh, Sylvia Rudman, who's head of that unit here today, for her hard work and dedication to a to many times a thankless job, and in the end, performs. Uh, in the end, there's great solace uh, done to the victims and families of these crimes. Uh, the Children's Advocacy Center has been a vital part in our work the last seven years. They have provided a safe and comfortable environment for children to disclose incidents of abuse. They also provide necessary support to families during this most difficult time. I'm very supportive of what they do and look forward to a close relationship in the coming uh, months. I also want to thank our community partners, in particular the Women's Center, <coughs> for the work that they do. This is the agency where victims can become survivors. For me, the goal is to prosecute and hold defenders responsible for their conduct. It's also to provide victims with some measure of justice and an opportunity to heal. To continue to do this, we must work together year-round with these partnerships to educate the community prevent, to prevent incidents of abuse. We, we're here today to talk about child abuse and sexual assault as highlighted during the month of April, but this must continue when this month ends. While I can say I look forward to this work, I couldn't think of a better team that we have here in Bristol County to serve those who are abused. Thank you very much.
Thank you so much. And now I'd like to introduce you to a wonderful person who took on a number of years ago the very hard task of starting in Bristol County a new children's advocacy center so that young people would have a place to go when they had been abused. We did not previously have anything in Bristol County, although other areas did have advocacy centers. It was not an easy thing to get it up and running, and it is not only up and running, but it is serving many, many children every year, and it is a place where they can go, and they can be taken care of in compassionate surroundings by people who know how to deal with this issue, who know how to treat children that have been abused. So without further ado, I'd like to introduce the Executive Director of the Children's Advocacy Center, Michelle Larangia. Good afternoon, everyone. Thanks so much for being here. I see some friends in the uh, audience. Uh, we do this every April, but as District Attorney Quinn said, the issue of, of child abuse and sexual assault and sexual violence exists all year round. And we wanted to um, have you join us today to uh, bring you aware of the agencies that are serving Fall River um, should your um, family be in need of our services. So please be sure to make sure that you take the brochures uh, with you should we um, be able to offer some assistance. You know, it takes the adage of it takes a village um, for the work that we do at the Children's Advocacy Center with the DA's office, with the Women's Center, uh, and many other agencies throughout Bristol County, but uh, specifically here in Fall River. As a nonprofit organization, I am asking you to become a partner and ambassador to helping us protect children. Children are our most valuable resource. Teams that work, to, we, we host and coordinate teams for the investigation and all components for the healing for kids that present to the Children's Advocacy Center. But I really want to talk about prevention. We see too many children and families at the center. We really want to talk about how to, how to stop it from happening. So I would really encourage you to come to the table and take our prevention materials so that you can be informed. Being educated and aware of the issues are the first steps to prevention. So thank you so much for being here today, and uh, I, I look forward to offering any assistance uh, as we move forward. Thank you. Thank you. You're a wonderful, wonderful group of young people here today. You're being so attentive, and that's really important because we want you to know that there are places that help young people like you when they have experienced abuse at the hands of an adult. We really want you to know that there's help there. There are agencies you can go to. The Children's Advocacy Center, as I said, gives wonderful, compassionate care. And the Women's Center also, we have a child and adolescent trauma department. And the motto of that department is that we believe children. So you will be believed and you will be helped. And it really depends on all of us to do this work. This work is so important in terms of sexual assault that last September, Barack Obama, our president, kicked off the It's On Us campaign. And It's On Us means that it, we have to get involved. It's on all of us to prevent child abuse. It's on all of us to prevent and be aware of sexual assault. So he kicked that campaign off in September. And then this year at the Grammys, and I know some of you listened to some great music of the people that got awards that night at the Grammys, but also at the Grammys, there was a PSA from President Obama, again, about the fact that one in five women and girls will be subjected to sexual assault in their lifetimes, and very often that occurs in college. So if you have older sisters in college, you know, you need to know that there's help there for them and that we have great campaigns going on our local college campuses so that individuals there know how to get help because we know it can be a time that they are at risk. So it is on us. It's on all of us. And what you have to do is you have to speak out. If you find uh, someone, you have a friend who's been a victim of sexual assault or child abuse, I want you to tell an adult. You would find an adult that you trust and you talk to them. And you help that friend of yours get help. It, there's absolutely help out there. That's why Michelle is here today. That's why the district attorney is here today. So that you are all aware that you're not alone in this. You're not alone in life. You're not alone when you have fun, and you're not alone when you have trouble. 
and we want you to find that adult that you trust and talk to them and remind them if they don't know that there's a children's advocacy center that there is the women's center that there are places where you can go to get help and that you can get help for your friend so it's on all of us to take part in this to take part in awareness and in prevention and now I'd like to introduce a really good friend of mine who is a former state legislator and he was so helpful to us in helping us to get budgets passed and and legislature passed that will help victims when he was there and now he has another job now he's executive director of the Fall River Housing Authority and so this is one of the places that he's responsible for and I'm going to have him introduce our our, our final guest who will be giving our proclamation today Dave Sullivan Thank you, Pam, and for everything that you've done over the years. You've done tremendous work, and just want to say the Children's Advocacy Center has just been an integral part, not only of our community, but of the county, and I do remember the battle of trying to get it to become part of Bristol County. But um, you arrived there, and you're doing tremendous work. Um, Michelle, thank you. Um, you reached out to us here in the Housing Authority. We have a social service roundtable where we discuss, and you helped to bring it. Uh, material in and help to educate staff. I see a lot of tenants uh, are here as well and I want to thank them as well for coming. This is a very important um, opportunity to hear about the Children's Advocacy Center. And with that, um, I don't want to belabor this, but he's uh, our new mayor of Fall River, the Honorable Samuel Sutter. Thank you. I must say, it takes a little getting used to uh, you here, District Attorney, and I snap my head around. <laughs> I'm very fortunate to have uh, somebody like Tom Quinn um, to, um, to succeed me, and uh, I uh, am so confident that he's going to do a great job and enlarge upon what we tried to do uh, at the District Attorney's Office while I was there in the prosecution of, uh, of child abuse cases. I would like to thank Dave for his kind words. Um, I want to thank Tom Quinn, the new district attorney, for his commitment to this cause. And uh, please indulge me while I thank uh, some old friends from the district attorney's office, uh, who I see, Sylvia Rudman, the head of the, of the uh, at least it was called the Special Victims Unit the last time I uh, checked in at 888 Purchase Street, uh, Deb Almeida, Jessica Costigan, Ashley Bendixson, anybody else from the DA's office that Tom's hired that I didn't mention, uh, my thanks to you for the for the extremely important work you do, and also on the front line from the Children's Advocacy Center, uh, Michelle Laranger, who heads the organization, Vanjie and Claire. Uh, Jessica, I get to mention you twice uh, because you're sort of in a hybrid position. Uh, Pam from the Women's Center. Everybody that's involved in this battle against rape, sexual assault, and child abuse. If I could just quickly amplify upon what uh, Michelle said. We have prevention programs for domestic violence in many, if not most, of the schools in Fall River. And we are beginning prevention programs for opiate addiction. We need um, prevention programs to fight child abuse in a systematic way throughout Fall River and even beyond. These programs, as we know, Michelle and Tom, they exist in certain parts of the country, and uh, some of the data shows that they work. Um, one of the goals, if not the primary goal, is just to get the message across to kids that as soon as anything happens to you, report it right away. So with that goal in mind for our future, the immediate future, I will proudly read this proclamation, but I'm going to have to get my uh, glasses out to do it. You know, it took a long time for me to give in to age, but I finally had no choice. So um, whereas, I'm supposed to read this, right, Pam? Yes. Okay. This is a proclamation from the city of Fall River, whereas Sexual Assault Awareness Month calls attention to the fact that sexual violence is widespread and has an impact uh, upon the community of Fall River, whereas rape, sexual assault, and sexual harassment have an impact upon our community, and statistics show one in five women and one in 71 men will have an incident, whereas April is also National Child Abuse Prevention Month, a time to raise awareness about child abuse and neglect, and encourage individuals and communities to support children and families, whereas child sexual abuse prevention must be a priority to confront the reality that so many children will experience a sexual assault before the age of 18, 
whereas young people experience heightened rates of sexual violence, and youth ages 12 to 17 were two times, two, two and a half times as likely to be victims of rape and sexual assault, whereas with leadership and dedication, we can be successful in preventing sexual violence and child abuse in the city of Fall River by increasing education, awareness, and community involvement, and whereas we must work together to educate our community about sexual violence prevention, supporting survivors, and speaking out against harmful attitudes and actions, I now therefore see Samuel Sutter, Mayor of Fall River, do hereby declare the month of April as Sexual Assault Awareness Month and Child Abuse Prevention Month throughout the city of Fall River and encourage citizens to join with me to promote awareness of, of, to promote awareness of the escalating problem of, child, of sexual assault and child abuse. There's no room for pressure, violence, and control. We can all create positive change for the future to prevent sexual and violence, to prevent sexual violence. Thank you all very much. Thank you so much, Mayor Sutter. It's strange for me also to say Mayor Sutter instead of <laughs> DA Sutter. Makes all of us. I'm, yes, I'm sure you, you think you have to leap to the podium when we start to introduce the district yeah. attorney. Um, but we're very grateful to have you here, our new district attorney, Tom Quinn. And we're grateful that all of you came. This is a serious subject, but it's time that we talked about it. We have to talk about serious subjects because things that happen in silence and in secret are not healthy. So we want you to make sure that you know that there's people here to help anyone who needs help. And we hope that you'll take some information to home to your parents, if your parents are not here, if you're one of our, our youth that are here today. It's good for you to hear this talk as well and to make sure that your parents have this information. But you have to know that you need to talk to an adult if you need to, and that they will help you, and the Children's Advocacy Center is there to help you, and the Women's Center is there to help you. Now's the fun part of the day for you, because you get to have some pizza and some other treats, and that's our way of thanking you for being here and having your attention. And thank you all again to all of you. Subject. My favorite subject is math. That's great. And your second favorite? Science. And how about uh, your favorite sport? That would be cheerleading. Oh, really? Okay. Do you get enough exercise, you think? Yes. It's really important. Because that uh, helps you stunt. Get all that, getting all that energy going. All right. Any questions for me? Do I, like, do I like being mayor? No. <laughs> Hi, how are you? Okay, I um, just wanted to say thank you for everything you do.